All over the world, people are talking about waking up to another level of consciousness. Many people say that they have found it helpful to view their mental health crisis as part of a painful journey to positive transformation. But what does this mean? What does it look like? And how does it happen? I was trying so hard to fit into this mold mm. in society, what was you know, acceptable to mankind standards. I really lost my way. I, lo- I didn't even know who I was. There were times I felt so shattered that I thought I would never work again. I felt like an amoeba on the floor, like I had no boundaries left. It was like a dam that was just waiting to explode because I wasn't in touch with that side of myself at all. The Western world, the medical world, didn't understand what was happening with me. And I lost one year of my life because I would just isolate myself. I wouldn't go out because I was so scared of what was going on with me and because it was so negatively labeled. When I got put in the hospital, I felt spiritually raped of being in touch with my soul. Persons that experience any kind of violations of of their rights and agencies, that's a trauma when um, they're mistreated and not valued in their their dignity are traumatized. I had to learn to deny my experience to the healthcare professionals, deny something that honestly you and I both know, really, if we're allowed to embrace those experiences, you know, embrace that near-death experience, or that non-ordinary experience that someone else has and talk about it, that is the most incredible tool of healing. I did find people who did understand what I was going through and the way that I interpreted my experiences. To be in the inner space with somebody who's just looking at you with genuine care and compassion and kindness, who isn't saying, I think you're ill Mm. or sick, Mm. who's saying, you know, treat this really carefully, but actually, you're gonna have to go through it. The only way is through. Now all I needed around me was a sense of trust and um, people who got that what I was experiencing was actually a spiritual experience, but that maybe, you know, there wasn't enough context or containment around me and within me to be able to deal with it effectively at the time. I wonder really how much of mental illness is truly just a spiritual awakening.